Hello, everyone, and welcome to our series on Great Runs. And we will pretty much follow most, if not all, the players in the Avro 1938 tournament. I mean, those were really big heroes, chess heroes for many, many decades. And actually, we will start with the last spot in that tournament, one of his most horrible tournaments, uh, Floor. Finished last without any win in that tournament. But, amazingly enough, a year before that, he was the official contender by FIDE to win, to, well, not to win, but to play a match with Alekhine. Actually, he had a quite nasty score with Alekhine. Five losses and seven draws without even one win. Probably doesn't speak great about his chances in a match, but okay. You know, uh, Alekhine was not at his prime already close to the late 30s. He was born in what is today uh, considered Ukraine, uh, some part of the Austro-Hungary uh, part then. And okay, he and his brother both became orphaned due to World War One. He found himself in the new formed Czechoslovakia, found himself in Prague, where, well, I would say in the late 20s, he established himself as already one of the strongest players in the world, and in the middle of the 30s, he was already most likely one of the top, well, I would say five players in the world, no doubt about that, and considered by rating, he had like about a year that he was number two in the world, around 1935, 1936, some big accomplishment, maybe the main one in a tournament was winning together with Botvinnik the Moscow, 1935, ahead of Last year, amazing performance by, uh, you know, one of the last amazing performances by Lasker. Uh, Capablanca finished uh, behind them. So really, uh, well, a world-class performance. He played few matches against strong players in the world, notably the match against Oiva in 1932. Okay, if you remember, three years after it, Oiva became world champion. Uh, th- that match finished with three wins, three losses, and ten draws. And he played a match against Botvinnik in 1933. Okay, Botvinnik was far from his peak, but still was one of the strongest players. That match was also equal. Two wins, two losses, and eight draws. As I mentioned, in 1937, he was official contender by FIDE to play Alekhine, but... World War II, I was just thinking, World War II had many losers uh, from chess point of view. Okay, one is Floor, that was official contender. I would say the other one is definitely Keres, that we will give him quite a big spot in our uh, series, that, well, together with Fine, won the Avro tournament and, well, again, didn't play Alekhine because, well, World War II, and okay, maybe big winner was Botvinnik because of all of that, but well, we will get to talk about it, most likely anyway. In the late 40s, Botvinnik would have won the World Championship. He was simply the best player. The thing is that for 11 years, 1937, 1948, all those players could have been written in history, but World War II decided no one is going to be there. His performance in Avro, okay, was really not a pretty one, right? The only one without a win finishing last, but when reading about the situation, one cannot feel feel for floor, okay, considering that he was a Polish-Ukrainian Jew, and Germany just invaded Czechoslovakia, maybe King's Indian or Queen's Indian is not the most important thing in your head at that situation, right? Anyway, so, bad tournament, he continued playing chess and, okay, he was quite a strong player. He found himself actually on his way to Sweden and from Sweden to Russia by his help of uh, his friend Botvinnik. Okay, he played in, he played some top chess but was never really a contender. He actually made it to the candid- 